My name is Aki Rap. I'm with the Glazers local uh, union guy. Uh, what else would you like to know? <laughs> okay, so this is in regards to right to work. Uh, my personal feel feelings uh, in regards to the right to work uh, law in, in, in those states with support is that typically uh, the budgeting and cost for construction stays the same in those states, but of course they pay the laborers significantly less. You know, so the businessmen, the contracts still make the same amount of money, but now they get the labor done for less. Also, typically, you have individuals willing to do that work. They, they may not be significantly skilled in that work. I'm Beth Johnson, the Senior Vice President for Economic Development with the Overland Park Chamber Economic Development Council. Kansas has been a right-to-work state for many decades. Um, and really what that boils down to in the simplest terms is that as an employee or a potential employee, you have the right to go to work for a company without being part of a union organization. Um, in Kansas, we know, and in economic development, being a right-to-work state is a factor. Companies have a long list of factors that they look at, real estate, um, taxes, um, workforce numbers, transportation access, right to work state. So we know that at, if a company is looking for specific opportunities, that may be an important factor to them. In other cases, it's not an important factor. My name is Robert Smith. I'm in the Carpenters Union. Uh, as far as right to work goes, I don't see how lowering our pay scale is going to help anybody because the union dues go to ensure that we have benefits, retirement, insurance, you know, paid holidays, this and that, where the non-union side doesn't. So if you're working non-union, what kind of retirement have you got to look forward to when you end it? Justin Gibbons, Rodriguez Mechanical. Um, I believe it hurts uh, the working class more than anything. Um, you have, uh, you have a choice ultimately uh, if you want to go union or if you want to stay non-union. Um, by uh, pushing the right to work, you start to handcuff some of the union members um, and uh, you start to open up a lot more um, work for maybe some unskilled tradesmen to take uh, work from skilled tradesmen. Um, unfortunately, um, it's kind of out of our hands. There's not a lot we can do except uh, try to fight the uh, petition about it. I don't see the world changing drastically at all. Um, you know, I think it, it ha may be that there's some projects that at the end of the day, you know, we have one state that's right to work, one state that isn't, that it may have been the tipping point on a project, but there has never been a project come out specifically saying, oh, I picked Kansas because it was a right to work state. So I don't see any massive changes happening in economic development due to any changes that may happen on the Missouri side.